What's good, beautiful people? It is your girl Shani here, also known as your little big sis because I might be small in stature, but I am big in the sisterly love. And welcome to Always Keep the Faith Fridays. I am so glad that you're here with me and that you've decided to come back on another Friday. And welcome to anyone that is new. And if you are new, make sure that you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on what I have to share from week to week, from Friday to Friday. So today should be a little bit of a fun episode just because we're learning something from entertainment. Those of you that know me know that I am somewhat of an entertainment junkie when it comes to certain things and a documentaries junkie or just like a behind the scenes junkie. Like I like to know like what took place, what really happened, what's the story behind all these things. So whether it be behind the music, a uh, true Hollywood story, unsung, um, uncensored, I love them all, okay? I will watch them, I will watch old episodes, I will watch them over and over again because it's really cool for me to find out like, what's going on in someone's head or what was really happening in their lives when certain things took place. So today I've got a little story for you about a um, episode on TV One's Uncensored that I think was kind of cool and a lesson that I learned from it. All right, so if you're somewhat of a entertainment junkie like me, then you've probably heard of the show Uncensored on TV One. They essentially do interviews with different artists, but it's like they're sitting in this chair and it's one-on-one -on -one and they just get very candid and very real. And a couple seasons back, they interviewed Natori Naughton, who is both a singer and an actress. You may know her from the group 3LW from back in the day, but more notably, she's probably known most for being Tasha on the show Power that was on Stars, and now she's in a new show called Queens that has some of my faves, Eve and Brandy in it. Um, so be on the lookout for that. However, I'm not doing a commercial for all that. <laughs> I just had to kind of give you a little something something about her so you know who she is. Now on this particular episode of Uncensored, Notori is talking a little bit about what it was like for the process of her playing Little Kim in Notorious. Now prior to that, she was just coming off of the movie Fame and she was kind of probably still thought of more as like a young child actress and being kind of booked in this movie was probably gonna take her up to the stratosphere. One, it was about the Notorious B.I.G., which you all already know from past episodes how I feel about him as an MC, and obviously Little Kim, who is a queen in the hip hop industry in her own rights. And she really, really wanted this role and she did everything in her power to make sure that she studied Little Kim, that she really kind of got rap cadences down. She worked with a producer friend that she had to be sure that she really had what it took to just do the best and she ended up booking the role. The best way that I could, I wanted to honor her, A, because I thought she was so dope. And, you know, I grew up loving, like, Notorious B.I.G., you know, Junior Mafia. It was legendary. So I just wanted to do it justice, and I did my absolute best, and I'm really proud of the work I did. However, it turns out that Little Kim wasn't too excited about her booking the role. Um, it could be for various reasons. Maybe she didn't have input. Maybe she wanted to choose who's going to play her. Maybe she didn't feel like at the time, Notorious, she's not as big as, or she, at the time she wasn't as big as she is now. Maybe she didn't feel that she was the right person to be able to portray her. Uh, but for whatever reason, she was not happy about it. But what I loved about Notori is that one, she understood that she did her absolute best. She knows that she put in the work. She knows that she studied her and she actually made a lot of attempts to try to get in contact with her to just kind of, you know, talk things through and make sure that she could portray her in the best way that she wanted to, even though unfortunately it didn't happen. But then when she realized that that wasn't going to happen, she didn't let it deter her. She decided, look, I'm going to still do my best. Not only am I going to do my best, but I'm going to handle it with grace. And I'm going to still portray her in the best way that I can. To have her blessing. I really did. I truly, to this day, I have nothing but love and respect for, you know, Lil' Kim. She really is, like, to me, what has spawned all the careers of the, you know, Nicki Minaj's and the Cardi B. We all should be looking at Lil' Kim and being like, yo, they just took from that book and did it now. So for me, I have nothing but love and respect, and I hope that she knows that I was honored to play her, and I hope one day uh, she, can, she can see that and really know that. And she still really wanted to get her approval. She really wanted to know that she was portraying her in the best light that she could. I don't know if she's ever gotten that approval. However, the one thing that I loved is that she didn't take it to heart. She said, you know what? 
I just want to make sure that I'm doing the best by this legend. I still respect her. I still revere her for who she is in the hip hop game. And hopefully she's pleased. And at some point she'll be pleased with what I did and playing her in this particular role. And I really had to give it up to her because not all people have the maturity, especially as a young person, because she was younger at the time, to be able to take that in stride. Sometimes, even when you do your best, your best is not necessarily looked at as good enough. And at the end of the day, you can't be always concerned about what other people think if you know that you have done the best that you can. And I really thought that it was really cool just to kind of see her navigate her way through that. And if you haven't checked it out and want to hear a little bit more of her sharing just her story about that whole time of her life and even just sharing her story of, you know, getting into this industry in general, I definitely think you should check out TV One Uncensored. I think you can go directly to their website. Um, you can see little clips on YouTube. Um, but it's always cool just to be able to get the behind the scenes about someone's life. You all know that I love to interview people and just really genuinely learn learn more about who they are. So Notori Naughton, my hat's off to you, hun. You definitely know how to deal with things with class. And I know that your, uh, your career is just going to go further and further because of that. So what's this week's faith fact? Look, at the end of the day, if you know that you've had the purest intentions and you've done your best and someone still isn't happy with it, then you know what? That is no longer your problem. It is now their problem. There are times where, yes, we can give it a hundred more percent or we can give it 50 more percent or we can put more effort into what we're doing. But there are times where ultimately we are doing the absolute best that we can and not everybody's going to be pleased with it. And we have to be okay with that. We have to be okay with just putting it all on the line and saying, you know what? This is what I have to offer. This is all that I have to give. And despite how you might feel about it, I have to move on and let it go, knowing that I, I laid my heart out on the line. I know that there's been times for me where that's happened, where I've either put my best into work that I've done, or I put my best into a relationship, or put my best into a friendship, or put my best into even expectations that I have of myself and having to realize, look, Shani, you don't have any more else to give. <laughs> you, you need to let it go. And I just want to encourage all of us to just realize that, look, if you've done all that you can do, be okay with that. Be at peace with that. Move forward and know that the chips will fall where they may. And you can't be responsible for somebody else's feelings, someone else's shortcomings, or maybe ultimately just how someone else feels about you. Because... At the end of the day, it ain't your problem, boo-boo. It's theirs. <laughs> Real talk. Well, that is it for today. I hope that you all enjoy that little nugget. I hope that you all have an amazing rest of your Friday and a beautiful weekend ahead. What y'all doing this weekend? Anybody? Yeah, I know. I'm talking to myself. But hey, put it, put it in the comments. Let me know what you have going on this weekend. I'm hoping that I have some fun things going on. Or if nothing else, I just get some really good naps and some really good rest. Well, guys, I love you all. I hope that you will have an amazing, amazing time this weekend. And as always, you know the motto. Always keep the faith and let the Lord fight your battles. Until next time, see you. Take care. Peace. Want to get a dose of motivation every Friday? Well, hit that notification button to subscribe so you never miss out. And feel free to share the encouragement with a friend. Don't forget, follow me on Instagram at Shanice Speaks Now and keep the good vibes going week long. Thanks so much for watching and see you next Friday. Look, I did my best, okay? So take it or leave it. That's, that's all I got. Stop stressing me. <laughs> Don't we wish you could say that sometimes? Yeah, but we gotta be nice. What can we say? <laughs>